Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 4 of Ithakai Quartet. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god, I got the worst headache ever. My body hurts. <laughs> That's it. That was the episode. Ten out of ten for Megaman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good episode. Very short. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat after this, but I just feel so like mm, weak, and I hate that. wake up and you have a worse headache and then it's like oh hey if you go back to sleep you'll be fine and then you'll wake back up again and you feel like worse than you did the first time <laughs> but i'm gonna i'm gonna break through it mm -hmm. i got one other show to record today and that's it <laughs> Also, I need to watch Overlord tomorrow. Yeah, what's that? Tanya Irons has no idea what the hell you talking about, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm fed up. Look, here we go. Oh, my baby talking. Right. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> oh. <laughs> See now, super and uh, Cosmo are out there. You know, all the right now, but now. Yeah, best girl. My victorious! Oh. Yeah. To bond more, possibly? <sighs> mm, true.
I gotta say, they're a the likely pair that's gonna be friends as well. Or maybe enemies. Here she comes! Baby, I love her. <gasps> and then Alberto is just going to be coming in, running her ass off. She's coming. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, yes. Uh-oh. Never mind. <laughs> See, it's so funny. You just, you got all my favorite idol master people in this anime. <laughs> you got Alberto, fucking Victoria, don't do it. I want, it still makes me wonder, what the hell they sleep at at night? That's because Rem loves you too damn much. Possibly I'm on Sonic Fast. <laughs> oh, God. Because I don't give a shit. Yeah. Huh? <clears throat> okay. You idiots! Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Only cause of like, let me hop the damn fence. <laughs> Oh, all right, those two have finally bonded. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you know? A.K.A. Kasumi from Persona 5R. <laughs> oh, Aqua. Oh, damn. You shouldn't have said that to him. You know he's pissed. <laughs> it's so easy! <laughs> 
for you. <laughs> Be like, you fucker, don't talk to me. I mean, I honestly, you know, you gotta feel bad for Cosma. I mean, you know, Cosma. <laughs> got the short end of the stick. He got even though all three, they are my best girls. As someone has said to me before, they're like, yeah, they're the best girls, but then they're also the worst girls. They <laughs> just are. And I'm like, but no, I'm like, you know, you got Aqua, the youth god the goddess, you know, Megamine, explosion, one move and done, and horny darkness. Horny darkness. <laughs> And not, and like the weirdest thing is none of them are in love with him. So, because like I remember the first time when I watched Konosuba as a reaction, and I did episodes I think one and two together, or just episode one by itself. I kept thinking in the back of my head, yeah, one of these three are gonna fall in love with this man. I was like, my money is kind of on Aqua, and then when Darkness came in, I was like, yeah, I think it's gonna be more Darkness. And then like uh, mm. Darkness and Cosmo have like a weird relationship. Megamine and Cosma are just like brother and sister, and then Aqua and Cosma, like, I don't know. That's something that I don't really want to talk about. I mean, no, no, no. You know what that's like? That's like Cosma is the master, and then freaking Darkness, I mean, Darkness, Aqua, aka freaking Kasumi <laughs> for Persona, is. <laughs> but she can't do shit right. <laughs> she always messes something up. But I love Aqua, no matter what. I, but Aqua, she do some real dumb things. Like I feel like next week, since next week is the talent show, she's just gonna be out there like, mm -hmm, let me get my fans and put water on everything. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad that Tanya and I, it's like they bonded. Like honestly, but she got a butt over here, like about to kick some lolly ass. But I'm like, no, 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 no. Just don't know, because if you do, Victoria, aka best girl, go kick your ass. I don't need my best girl kicking my other best girl's ass. That's it. Like, come on. Mm. <laughs> but honestly, that's something I would like to see. I don't know. But then you got fucking. <laughs> Fine at first, and then it's like, no, fuck you, like, you got everything handed to you, I didn't get shit. <laughs> oh, oh, god, I'm crying. I, just like I said, I feel really bad for Cosmo, like, see, that makes me want to rewatch kind of similar. <laughs> it just be like, you poor baby, you got that short, and you got, like, <laughs> Cosmo got, like, what was left at the bottom of the barrel, but they're still the best girls in the damn show. I mean, like, I'm not saying that, you know, they're useless because they're not. They really have certain things that are very important about them, and it's just, you gotta love the three of those dummies. Like, come on. It's just, like, it's a rite of passage to love the girls at Kanasuba, whether they are part of his party or not. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Detroit Tough. For a music high quartet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad, and of course, I will see you guys <clears throat> officially next Tuesday for episode five. Bye, guys.